The book of Revelation is by far one of the most insightful and intriguing books of all the New Testament. You know, it really does follow somewhat of a divine outline. Chapter one are the things that John had seen, so he writes them down. Chapters two and three are the things that are, the churches, the letters that Jesus shared with the churches there in that time. And then in chapter four, we see this interesting thing happen. Let me read to you chapter four, verse one. He says, then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me like a trumpet blast. The voice said, come up here and I will show you what must happen after this. And instantly I was in the spirit and I saw a throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. And chapter four goes on to describe this beautiful, massive throne at the center of attention in heaven. And around the throne, there are those who are worshiping Jesus, who is seated on the throne. Listen to what they say. We find it there in verse eight of Revelation chapter four. Each of these living beings had six wings and their wings were covered over their eyes inside and out. And day after day and night after night, they kept on saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. See, here's what's so interesting. John gets caught up into heaven and the center stage of heaven is the authority, the goodness, the eternality, the superiority of God. God is sovereign, he's in control. I find this so interesting that the thing that grabs John's attention is the throne of God. And this is what I wanna share with you this morning. I don't know what's surrounding your day today, the events, the to-do lists, the relationships, but I do know this, Jesus is seated upon the throne. He is in control. When John was caught up to heaven, the thing that impressed him the most was that there was the throne of God. See, and in your day today, Jesus is enthroned. He's in control. He is the one who is over everything. And as it says here in Revelation chapter four, he is the one who always was, who is, and is who is still to come. So in your day today, trust him with your worries and concerns, those gifts that you might need to get for that day that's coming on the 25th. Listen, God's in control. He's on the throne. So today, worship him with all that you have.